Welcome to next vlog. It's Friday. I went to gym for the first time after a week and a half and being ill. I finally feel 100% which is great. So that's a positive. <laughs> um, literally had like a little pampering session which is quite nice. Wash my hair. You know, did all the moisturising, my skincare, had a nice breakfast. It was good. It was good. I actually enjoyed waking up early um, today, which is a bit unusual because I hate waking up at five. Well, you need to do this. Um, yeah, not much been happening because I was ill. Monday, Tuesday, I actually took a time off from work because I was just exhausted. I had literally whole day lasting uh, headache and... I just was exhausted so yeah took these two days off and then i'm back at work working from home this week to make sure that nobody got my uh illness sickness or whatever you call it illness i guess cold flu i still don't know the difference between cold and flu not gonna lie and yeah so as the quick life update i moved my room around as well so needs to like organize it as well i used to change my bed sheets i ordered a couple bits from i don't like to order from sheen 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 i think sheen um but i needed a big tapestry because i moved my bed around and there's like a marks that behind like the headboard obviously because i turn it so you can now see it so i got um I got a tapestry that's gonna go there and then I got like a skirt for for my bed for the bottom that you can't see the frame so we'll see how that gonna looks like if it's gonna be good quality or not and um, yeah that's kind of it I have potentially as I mentioned I think last week or week before a new client for my business which i'm quite excited so this weekend will be mainly about that and uh yeah kind of going back to normal regime good morning it's saturday it's like 10 past 10 past 10 so I need to start going because I have quite a busy day ahead. So first mission is to go to Primark. I need to buy three things, essentially. Number one, important one. I need blankets because um, when I'm reading after work, I am always cold. Even though I have a hoodie, I have a joggers, I have a high socks, I'm still feeling cold. So I want to get all cozy when I'm reading. So going to get myself a blankie then i'm gonna have a look for a jacket i want just like quick kind of like not super thick puffer kind of thing when i'm going to the gym because i have a big puffer when it's like cold cold and it's long one to my knees but i want just like short one and i think promog has one for like 18 quid or something like that which that's all i need that you just put on go to gym and now and then maybe wear it to work if I, um so yeah so that's that and uh the third one look for the pajamas because obviously when i did my clear out before moving i throw like all stuff all the stuff away and i realized i have only like three pajamas so we'll see if i can find something very cheap with long sleeve and obviously bottoms long bottoms um so that's that then i will get a coffee on the way back i have a voucher through vitality for nero so i'm gonna treat myself to nice coffee and then i'm gonna be working on the on my business as i mentioned yesterday i have potentially a new client so i need to do kind of like i already had onboarding call on monday which went great i have idea what my customer so I don't know if it's customer or client or probably client. Uh, my client is looking for. So I'm going to do kind of like the intro email with the logo options. And I'm going to kind of show you behind the scenes what it's like in my head when I'm doing that. Um, And then 
in the evening i will go to the gym because i will be sitting all day so i want to get like walk first now and then do my work and then go to gym and then obviously have a dinner so that's the plan we will see how it goes also gary has returned so we love that but um couple of days from uh, starting my period so it is normal that I get always like a few pimples I usually get like one here which is there one here as well so it's kind of like always here and then I usually get it uh, in this area where it's like chin neck most of the white double chin so yeah anyways let's go Quick haul, I've got a new poster, it's gonna look like this um, because the one I had uh, broke, so that's a new one. Got a pajama, went for this one, extra large because I love it when it's all comfy and oversized for eight. Quit, what else? Got this little crate that I'm gonna use on my desk to stay more organized. Got a long sleeve basic t-shirt for three pounds for sleeping um got this whoops got this sheer sheer top in size large it was three pounds discounted so in case i'm gonna go out because i have nothing really and then got this uh throw like blanket Went for yellow because I have a yellow and beige um, sheets. And that is it. I didn't get the jacket because the quality of the one I checked on the internet was horrendous. Very thin. Like, and, um, yeah, didn't like it. Even the cut was mech. And then I found another one where it was like £26. And I don't really need, need a jacket because I have like coat. I have uh, the long puffer. I have leather jacket, I have my mech, and then I have like a windbreaker as well, so I skipped on that. So I had my lunch and now I'm ready to work. So as I said, I'm gonna share with you kind of what is my processes when I'm onboarding a client. So step one is usually that I have a call with the uh, potential client to kind of find out obviously what exactly they're looking for and if I can eventually help. So we had a call on Monday, which was really good. So I got a better understanding of um, of my clients and what she's looking for, what she wants to achieve, what are kind of the goals. Uh, also, we discuss if she has any preferences regarding the design. So annoyingly, you can see me by this, what it is. So I'm using notes to take you my notes um, and do kind of like a summary. So this would be essentially two projects. So the first one, which I quoted between 150 and 180 pounds. So I always put it here that I don't forget. I'm going to be using Bijux as a name. And the goals are rebranding for beauty services, creating new logo, do unified Instagram, create templates or for photo preset, uh, presets, uh, business cards and business flyers. Uh, we discussed the design. I already put like logo options. So obviously she asked for something luxurious, high end, classy and modern in the same style. So at the moment she has like very glittery. Uh, glitter focus logo and design so i'm gonna do one in that style but elevate it uh then i will do kind of silk satin feel because i think that can be quite nice and then very clean and elegant option i have three color schemes i have emerald, emerald green burgundy and navy because i would again enhance the richness richness and luxurious of the brands i don't really want to do just like gold one gold wipes because i feel everyone has it or like pink uh yeah so that's what i decided i spoke to you because i got annoyed by the fact that i can see myself in the screen anyway so what i was saying i usually create a three different uh designs of a logo i do the color scheme palettes as well and share with the, with the client obviously then i will listen to feedback we can do adjustments yeah, 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 yeah. so that's just kind of like my first step before getting more 
involved with the whole branding um, situation or with the project. Um, what I usually do is I can, the first logo is kind of similar what they already have, but just elevated. Second one is usually what they say they, they kind of want, which they think is like their new vision. And then third one, I do kind of what I think is the best for the brand, what's going to stand out as well. Um, I like to do like a market research as well. So I usually check where they are located, check the same uh, businesses with the same services or brands with the same products and kind of see what's going on at the moment what they have and try to focus uh, on standing out so obviously when you have competitions this is a beauty uh, beautician so you want to stand out so gonna do some market research as well now seeking out what's around and yeah, that's kind of what it is. Also, what is happening is once I do the market research and explain like why I went for the third design, they usually choose it because they trust me and they kind of see behind. Also, I, I do uh, examples of what people doing so that they can see I just don't, I just haven't basically made it up in my head and I have like proof of like, okay, there's lots of uh, beauticians in the area. They have this, 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 they have these colors. Obviously this, if we go for the burgundy navy, or emerald green would stand out i already done that little research so i know these colors should be fine but obviously i need to do more thorough ones so yeah now i'm just gonna work on that to do the search and start designing logos it's much later now i think i finally finished all three designs so let me show you and explain so the first one you're gonna see it's essentially an upgrade of what my client already has so she has just the name of the business and like a little gem like a diamond so i put a little spin up on it second one will be she uh, wants something clean and modern so i just went with very simple fonts and then i was thinking like okay how else i can kind of put that whole gem theme on it and I realize when you have the reflection when the sun hits the stone you're getting the rainbow so that's why it you will see you will see what I mean and the third design is my recommendation so obviously after the call I had idea in my head what I can kind of do for her for my clients and especially as we're doing like two projects first one is just getting the whole social media updated have unified Instagram that then the post can be shared on Facebook as well and then book like the main goal is to book more uh, clients for the treatments and then the second project will be essentially product development so we will do like I will do labels and packaging etc so because there's like two projects I'm trying to combine already both together so I created the third logo kind of represent that so for my logo designs, I'm using Canva. I love it. It's very simple to use. And also it's easy for me then to share with the clients. And obviously they can do some adjustments when it comes to templates, etc. So this one is the first one, as I said. It's the little spin-off uh, to the current logo. Then we have the second one. And that's why I said it's that very clean, simple. And that's kind of like the rainbow that you're getting from the from sun hitting the stone and then you have the third one which uh, i have a couple options regarding fonts because i couldn't just decide it i was playing literally last hour to see what fonts gonna go together so this is the first one this is second one this is third one and then this is fourth one so i have four options and then i will share this now with my client and we will see what she's gonna pick I just make myself a coffee as you've seen um it's actually eight o'clock I'm up since 7 a.m I try to fall back asleep but no luck so that's fun 
uh, the time actually went back last night so I guess it's like 9am for me which I normally waking up so yeah instead of me enjoying another hour of sleep I'm right awake so I'm gonna enjoy my coffee I'm gonna be reading I started yesterday a new book it's my fourth one this month so I'm really on my reading streak and really enjoying reading this one is called Paper Wife it's about a girl from China that was forced in um arranged marriage i'm saying forced because there's a straight away in like a first chapter there's a plot twist and she has to move to uh, california to san francisco from china with her new husband so it's interesting i like kind of these stories so i'm gonna read for like an hour then i will edit this vlog and then as per usual it's sunday so i will do my food shop in little then go to gym uh, sorted out my stuff as well, do a bit more work for my business, cook, make my meal prep and that's essentially it. So yeah, it's actually, this vlog is actually long for once in the last couple of weeks, obviously it was a bit shorter. So I'm quite pleased with myself that I've properly filmed and have a hopefully good and nice video for this week. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it and I see you next week. Bye. Ooh, 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 ooh.